Have you ever been through this kind of headache? You've got no idea about how to make a proper call to your clients during a business trip. Let's just think about it. Usually, it's supposed to be the company number as the caller ID when we make a call to our clients. Well, what about on a business trip? As we know, Yaystar Lanka's mobile app might be a very good solution. However, there is no internet access on our mobile right now, or even a worse circumstance, our mobile is just out of service. Facing these issues, what are we supposed to do? Shall we just call through our SIM card or a public phone directly? Of course not. We just want that call to be sent to our clients very formally. So the caller ID must be our company contact number instead of our personal number. It seems like a hassle. Well, don't forget we still have a backup solution, which is called Disa. Set Disa as the destination of one inbound road, so people outside the office can call into this inbound road and reach the Disa feature. Then they can dial another external number to get connected. In this way. Our personal number won't be sent to the final card party. Instead, the card party will only see the trunk's number from the company. Now let's jump into the setting page. Usually, when we try to call out through trunks connected to the SRS PBX, we need to create outbound road with these trunks selected. This rule will also apply to DISA. When we call out via DISA, actually we will call out through a trunk selected in an outbound road. So the final caller ID displayed to the client will be the number of the trunk used to call out. This is the logic of Disa's configuration. Say we want to use the same card to call out to clients via Disa. Create an outbound road for the trunk. In this example, keep the default dial pattern. So any number we dial will match this pattern. Create a Disa and choose the outbound road we've created. When callers reach the DISA, they can call out through SIM card selected in this outbound road. If the number dialed match the dial pattern of the road, the call will be established. Otherwise, it will be dropped. Set a password for the DISA, so only the guy who knows the password is allowed to call out via DISA. Response timeout and digit timeout these two settings are the same as what they are in the IVR. When we enter the DISA, we will hear an instruction prompt. Once the prompt is played over, we need to enter the first digit within the time duration set in response timeout. Digit timeout defines the time interval between pressing two digits. If callers don't press any key in 5 seconds, the system will consider that they've finished the action and send the dialed number out directly. The last step, we need to set the DISA as the destination of the certain inbound road to route incoming house out. Select one trunk and set the destination to the DISA we've created. By all these settings, when employees make a call to this trunk, they will be directed to DISA. In the DISA, a prompt will be played to them and notify them to enter the number they want to dial. We will hear, Please enter the number you want to dial. Then, the PBX will send out the dial number. Through the outbound road selected in the DISA, the call between the employee and the target client will be established eventually. Okay, that's how we set DISA in our outbound roads. Note that if we call to a target client by DISA when we are away from the office, we actually need to dial twice, which is dialing a corporate trunk number first, then dialing the target number. Apparently, the caller and the company are going to pay for that call. What's more, this call will actually occupy two concurrent calls of the PBX. Therefore, the DISA feature is just an alternative when Linkus mobile app is not available. Basically, Linkus mobile app can handle most of our costs. Well, with this feature, we just have one more choice for some specific circumstances. So guys, hope our Linkus mobile app and DISA can help you being connected anytime, anywhere.
For more latest information, subscribe our YouTube channel or just check the linked video. Need more detailed features information? Please visit our website, www.yaystar.com. I will see you guys in the next one.